India and Armenia have accelerated negotiations for the export of 12 Su-30 fighter jets, valued at an estimated $3 billion with full package and support services. The Indian Air Force has taken delivery of a leased Boeing KC-135 Stratotanker, marking a crucial step in restoring its mid-air refueling capability. Adani Group has announced a massive 7,000 crore rupees investment to expand its ammunition manufacturing footprint, with the large caliber production line to go operational in the coming months, while the medium caliber production line is targeted for January 2027. Embraer has offered the KC 390 Millennium to the Indian Air Force with 100% make in India production at the Dubai Air Show, including full local assembly testing and delivery through a private Indian partner, and 60% indigenous content within a few years. Brahmos Aerospace has recorded a threefold surge in foreign interest at Dubai Air Show 2025, with delegations from dozen countries seeking detailed briefings. Officials have confirmed that two government-to-government -government deals are now in final stages, while four more nations are in active procurement talks for BrahMos missiles. New Space Research and Technologies has said that the service ceiling of the Abhimanyu collaborative combat aircraft has been raised from 6,000 meters to 8,000 meters, endurance from 2 hours to over 2.5 hours, and top speed from 550 km per hour to 600 km per hour, enhancing performance for manned unmanned teaming roles. The DRDO has started radar cross-section reduction trials of Su-30 aircraft using indigenous radar absorbent materials. When applied on high radar cross-section hotspots, the modular coating can cut frontal radar cross-section by 50% to 70%, that will dramatically reduce detection ranges, giving the Indian Air Force more room to execute PVR shots using the 250 km range Astra Mark II. India's Tejas Mark II fighter jet will feature a major leap in sensor and BVR capability with the induction of the new Utam Mark II radar, as its swashplate mechanism will dramatically expand the field of view to nearly 140 degrees. The radar delivers a 250 km class detection range, improved off-bore side tracking, stronger jamming resistance, and the ability to track 64 targets while engaging 6 targets simultaneously, sharply boosting its long-range engagement performance. In a major development, the DRDO has completed the design of an active cooled scramjet engine for the extended range long distance hypersonic cruise missile, crucial for sustained hypersonic flight above Mach 5 over long ranges. A subscale combustor prototype successfully achieved 60 seconds of stable combustion in real flight high temperature conditions, confirming scalability to full missile prototypes. The new active cooled scramjet marks a major leap over earlier scramjet designs that relied mainly on passive thermal protection, and could sustain hypersonic combustion only for short bursts. Russian Ambassador Denis Salipov has confirmed that intensive talks are underway with India on the Su-57E platform, emphasizing Russia's willingness to transfer technology and support full-scale licensed manufacturing within India. The proposal covers supply of Su-57 direct from Russia, followed with phased indigenous manufacturing managed by Hindustan Aeronautics with extensive involvement of Indian industry. He also confirmed that Moscow is offering unrestricted access to the Su-57 ecosystem, including source codes, stealth materials, advanced engines, radar sensors, avionics, slow signature technologies, advanced weapons and artificial intelligence systems. India has shortlisted seven powerful industry teams for the 15,000 crore rupees AMCA manufacturing contract, marking a major shift away from giving Hindustan Aeronautics an automatic lead. The Ministry of Defence wants a diversified aerospace ecosystem by distributing development and production responsibilities across private and public players, reducing bottlenecks and delivery delays. Two expert panels from Aeronautical Development Agency and Defence Ministry will select the winning consortium by mid-2026, after detailed capability audits and prototype demonstrations, prioritising the consortiums who can deliver 20 jets per year. Today's Top 3 Comments
Oh, Mark, drop it.